I want you to understand the importance of a spiritual parent in one's life. Your biological parent can make you attain certain heights in life, but your spiritual parent can take you to heights that you never imagined in life. The reason is that life is in two dimensions. Life is in two realms. There is life in the physical realm and life in the spiritual realm. Your biological parents are responsible for your physical needs, while your spiritual parents are responsible for your spiritual needs as well as your physical needs in some cases. The physical realm bows before the spiritual realm. So the spiritual realm has influence over the physical realm. So he who helps you in the spiritual realm helps you in the physical realm as well. The Bible acknowledges the relevance of a spiritual parent in one's life. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on earth. So we can clearly see that verse 1 is talking about parents in the Lord or spiritual parents, whereas verse 2 talks about biological parents. So it says, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And then, Honor your father and mother. I want you to take note of this. Obey your parents in the Lord. I mean, obey your spiritual parents. Then, honor your biological parents. So there are two key words used here. Obey and honor. Obey, honor. You obey your spiritual parents. You honor your biological parents. I want you to understand that it's one thing to obey someone and another to honor someone. In my own words, to obey someone is to follow whatever they command you to do. While to honor someone is simply to acknowledge them in a special way. Listen to this. We are commanded to obey our spiritual parents owing to the fact that a spiritual parent can never command you to do something that is meant to destroy your life. Your spiritual parent wants God to better your life. Your spiritual parent wants you to go higher in life. Your spiritual parent has a burden for your life. He wants to see the best out of your life. Your spiritual parent prays for you when you are not even aware. He prays for protection. He prays for provision. He labors in prayer for your life. He wrestles in prayer for your life. Your own mother and father may reject you. They may not see any future in you. But your spiritual parent sees a giant in you. He sees a successful person in you. Even when you are nothing in people's eyes, your spiritual parent will pick you up. They will embrace you and make you feel you are somebody in life until they see the best out of you. Listen, even when your spiritual parent falls, he still has influence over your life. Eli was a backslidden priest. He had gone out of God's way. He even once inflicted pain on Hannah by accusing her of having drunk. But we see the same priest blessing Hannah when she told him she was only pouring out her heart before the Lord. He said, Go in peace. May the God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. When she surrendered the child to the Lord, we see the same priest blessing Hannah and her husband every year. He would say, may the Lord give you other children to take the place of this one she gave to the Lord. 
So your spiritual parent carries your blessing regardless of his or her spiritual status. Your biological parent can get you things that can be bought with money. But your spiritual parent can get you things that can never be bought with money. Your biological parent can never buy healing. Your biological parent can never buy deliverance. Your biological parent can never buy you the fruit of the womb. But your spiritual parent can pray to God for your breakthrough. So never underestimate the value of your spiritual parent in life. Never say you can make it without them. Yes, you may make it physically. But remember, you ought to make it spiritually also. Hear what Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15. For even if you had 10,000 others to teach you about Christ, you have only one spiritual father. For I became your father in Christ Jesus when I preached the good news to you. So, I urge you to imitate me. So you can have several servants of God who inspire you. You can have so many preachers that you follow. But remember, there is only one spiritual parent. The one who first taught you the word of God. The one who made sure that Christ was formed within you. He is your spiritual father. She is your spiritual mother. Remember, when a person wants healing from the devil, it doesn't go direct to the devil. Instead, he goes to a witch doctor. Because the witch doctor is a contact person to the devil. When you want spiritual help from God, he may not descend and visit you. But your spiritual parent will visit you. They will cry before God on your behalf. Appreciate your spiritual parent. God bless you.